Good morning and welcome to Coffee Talk. Um, I'm getting ready to get the kids to school and then I'm going to Los Angeles um, for 36 hours. Um, but uh, yesterday's Coffee Talk sparked some interesting reactions and I got a ton of messages from people who said it was eye-opening about being the victim and or they were dealing with people or they thought I was off the mark or whatever and I tried to read as many as I could this morning um, while the kids were still sleeping but I want to follow yesterday's coffee talk up with this every single person every single person is worthy of love is worthy of loving themselves, is worthy of having other people love them. I remember when I went through situations in my life, um, I was a victim of different things in, um, in my life from teenage years through my late 20s. Things that I, I had infidelity, people that I loved cheated on me. Um, I, I had worse situations. Um, and I would say things like, you broke me, you destroyed me. What I have learned now is when I would say that, I was not actually broken. I was hurt and I was angry and I was shameful and embarrassed, um, but, and, and, but, but destroyed? broken? I don't think so. I think we may be temp I think we may be slowed down, but broken? I don't think so. I read the comments from people on Coffee Talk and the things that we help each other get through and the things that we get through and the things we have already been through tells me we are not broken. I feel like things stop us temporarily. They slow us down, they knock us down. But every single one of us is still here, still going. So I don't think we're broken. I think a lot of when we say, you destroyed me, you broke me, this devastated me, whatever, it's because we wanna hurt the other person. We want them to hurt and most times it doesn't work. We're the ones that are hurting, being devastated and carrying that sort of stigma. We want, we want to be the victim for a while because we're angry about the injustice. Also, a lot of times we're afraid to say that we're not broken because it's almost letting them off the hook as if their injustice was not significant enough to break us. But it doesn't make us feel any better to be in that space, to get everybody on our side and sort of be the victim. I did it. I went through it. Even five years ago, when I went through my really hard time with Michael, I wanted to be in that space. I wanted him to hurt. So by telling him that he was destroying me, I thought that that would hurt him. But it's a, it's a very weird space to be in and it doesn't really have the desired effect we want it to have. It's, it's hard for me to put it into words. Nothing I was saying reaffirmed what I want to believe about myself because what I want to believe about myself is that I'm strong and that I am a triumph over trial story and that I can get through anything. Staying in that space, letting people believe they've destroyed me or trying to convince them that they broke me or destroyed me because they cheated on me or because they whatever. Michael didn't cheat on me, but I'm saying those types of situations doesn't reaffirm what I want to believe about myself. There were things that happened to me or even mistakes that I made myself. How many mistakes have I made where I wanted to be in that space feeling you're a terrible person, you're an awful person, but at some point you got to go, you're not your mistakes. 
You, you are not your mistakes. You may have made a thousand mistakes when you were younger or even yesterday, but you are not your mistakes and you can't allow people to punish you forever. You have to make the decision the day you're ready to be better and love yourself and go like, I can't be punished for this anymore. I just want you to know that you were worthy of love and acceptance and forgiveness. We all are. No matter what you've been through, you are not damaged. You are not broken. You are not destroyed. You may be temporarily slowed down. That is okay. We've all been that. But how many times have you had a conversation with yourself where you've said, well, if he wouldn't have done blank to me, I wouldn't be so broken or I would move on or I would do this, but because I was devastated or because this happened to me, this is, we become what we think we are. We put limitations on ourselves. It is, we are holding ourselves back Nobody is magical enough to control our emotions and what we want to believe about ourselves. We allow that and it, and it becomes a comfort zone. It becomes a safety net to allow our hurt feelings to take over. It is scary to move on. It is scary to forgive other people. It is scary to forgive yourself. But you deserve love, self-love, starting with self-love because you are amazing. I read the things that you share with other people, the way you uplift and support other people. You deserve the same cheerleader. Be that for yourself because you're already doing it. So I know you can do it. It's so frustrating to me how many people are hurting and they take it out on them on themselves. Don't allow these lingering feelings that you have about what happened to you in your past hold you back from who you're really meant to be because I did that for 10 years. 10 years, I decided, I chose to be a product of my baggage, of my experiences of my tragedies. My dad died. I had this happen. I had that happen, whatever. And I, I didn't believe that I was worthy of anything, that I was worthy of self-love or forgiveness. I didn't forgive other people. I was angry all the time. I was the victim. Everybody had to be on my side. Listen to what they did to me, what they did to me, what they did to me. When I stopped and I realized that certain things happened to me. I had certain experiences that I could never go back and undo. They had already been done. I, and I decided like, I can't live like this anymore. I don't want to be broken. I am choosing to be broken because what happened to me happened five years ago and I'm still broken. I'm still devastated. So I am choosing that. I said, I can't, I can't do this anymore. I can't go into every new friendship, every new love, every new job, every new day being broken. Yes, broken crayons still color. And yes, when you are in that space, you, you there is so much hope and potential to, to heal. That is, that is what I'm trying to say. It's right there. If you feel broken, if you feel devastated, you can heal. It starts with you knowing and owning that you are amazing and you are worthy of forgiveness and self-love. You are awesome. As soon as you start seeing yourself as awesome and not broken, that is when you will start to heal. That is when you will truly leave victimville. That is when you will start living the life you're meant to live again. Does this make sense? Because I'm trying so hard to convey what I, what I went through to get here 
And it's not always easy because I'm filled with so much passion for wanting to help and explain and I don't always get it right. But I hope this made sense because you are amazing. I love you today. Have a great day.